Well, good morning, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever it is that the Lord has you. I am Prophetess Rhea Doswell. I do apologize for the quality of this video. Uh, it's out of my hands. I am the founder of Sela Prophetic Ministries. Today's date is March 31st, 2023. Let me tell you what the Lord put in my spirit for all of you today. First of all, today is the last day of the month of Purim, okay? And even though it's the last day of Purim where you see Israel rescued out of the hands of Pharaoh Ramses' lineage and his family of bondage and oppression, God is not done and he is going to move on our behalf. However, he wants you to know that there are many things going on that he wants us to pay attention to, okay? One of the things that the Lord highlighted was his whisper. If you go back on the ministry page, there is a prophetic word that the Lord released months ago, and it talked about the whispers of God. And I am telling you that many of you in your environment, it's too loud where you are, you cannot hear the still small voice of the Holy Spirit because of the noise that is around you. And God truly wants you to get in a place where you are quiet so you can hear the whispers of God. The whispers of God are very, very still. They're so quiet, but you cannot hear them when you are surrounded around all types of activity. You're involved in conversations that the Lord is not authorized for you to be involved in. You're involved with people that you're not not supposed to be involved in, you're doing things that you're not supposed to be doing, you will miss the whispers of God. And a part of breakthrough in this season that we're in, you have got to get alone so you can hear the still small voice of the Holy Spirit. I had an experience and I want to share it with you. I have been believing God, like many of you, for something really major to happen and it didn't happen. And it did not happen in the time that I thought and I was hurt. I was crushed. I cried. I called um, my prayer partner because we try to brainstorm what in the world is going on because God said he was going to do something specifically for me. Let me tell you what the Lord did because of my cry. I cried. I wept. I pleaded for him to give me answers to help me understand why am I not experiencing this this specific thing right here. I have seen you deliver back to back and you've been doing different things for different children in your body. Why is this not happening for me? Oh, oh my God. In a dream, God showed me if he would have answered that specific prayer at that specific time, that something was waiting for me in an environment and it would not be good for me. It would actually cause a derailment. And when I woke up from the dream, may I tell you something? I felt relieved. And this is what I was insured by the Holy Spirit is that, do you understand that what you're petitioning for, yes, it's of me, but your timing is off and I need you simply just to wait. And that's exactly what he said around six something this morning was wait not to give up, but wait and to trust him. That even though what I was believing God for did not happen, it does not mean that it's not going to happen, but I simply needed to wait. And when he told me that after showing me that dream, I mean, he showed me scene by scene. If I open this door and if I allow you to go forward as you are trying, as what I showed you would happen, this is what awaits you. And I'm actually protecting you. So I'm actually stopping a door from opening because of timing, because I'm working out things behind the scene that you're not aware of. And once I knew that I was able to, to just be settled in my spirit. And he assured me, no, it's still coming, but your timing is off, Rhea. And in your wait, wait doesn't mean I sit idly. No, wait means that I remain to be consistent, that I remain to be obedient, that I remain to have a strong prayer life, that I stay in the word of God, and that I'm working on everything that the Holy Spirit told me to work on. Why? Because it's on the other side of our obedience. There's a reward. And sometimes the the reward is not in the material. Sometimes the reward is spiritual. It's wisdom. It's knowledge. It's understanding what God is saying as he is leading and directing all of us. One of the scriptures, you have to excuse my background, you guys, is Proverbs um, chapter three, verses five, seven. It says, trust in the Lord. Lean not to your own heart, lean not to your own understanding. It says, but acknowledge him in all thy ways and I will direct your path. Path means a course, path means a route. Understanding means 
comprehension. None of us, we cannot afford to operate in your own human logic. You can't afford to operate in what you think something is supposed to be. This is a season, I am telling you, you have to shut it down and you have to get in the quiet place so that you can hear the still small voice of the Holy Spirit. So you can understand if something is not unfolding, I need to know why God does not want any of his remnant children to operate in a place of confusion because he's not the author of confusion. Satan is God wants each of us to have clarity. But if we're honest, how many of us are petitioning him? We have a demand and we're saying we want this. I want this breakthrough. I want this deliverance. But how many of us, if we're honest to say, Father, if what I'm asking for, is it the timing? And even the people who I think it might come through, could it be that you're going to shift and use somebody else that I'm not even sensitive to? And simply, I need to reach this place to say, nevertheless, Father God, not Rhea's will, not your will, but let your will be done in this situation. So I want to encourage you today, get in a quiet place. I felt that so strong in the spirit this morning that many of you in your atmospheres, in your homes, in your churches, you are around too much noise. You have too many conversations going on. And I'm telling you the spirit of God, he is speaking. He is speaking, but it is a still whisper. If you and I, I'm going to give you an analogy that I gave a really dear prophet who's a prayer partner of mine. And what I told him was that if I call you and I leave a message and I'm talking in a whisper tone and you happen to be in an environment where there's noise, what would you do so you could hear the message? You most likely would either put your hand on your ear or you would go in another room so that you can hear the message that I'm sending you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's exactly what's going on with God the Father, is that God is speaking, you guys. He's speaking through dreams and visions like never before. He's speaking through word of knowledge. He's speaking through that knower in your spirit. He's speaking through prophecy. He's speaking through even your circumstances. And what the Father is saying is that I need you to trust me, number one, that if I didn't deliver it, you got to ask, why didn't you deliver it? And you have to be prepared to receive the answer that God gives. Just like in my situation, I cried like a baby. I cried because this is an urgent situation. And I'm like, Father God, I, I need to know why did you lead me to do this? Why did you lead me to accomplish that? And why are you not delivering this? I have got to have answers, Father God, because I cannot go forward without hearing from you because I don't understand what just happened. And in his grace, in his mercy. And this is amazing because what happens with me is that I never know when he's going to give me a prophetic word or a dream. He just interrupts. And that's exactly what he did yesterday. He allowed me to feel very very drowsy. And I went right into REM sleep. And when I told you, he, he showed me scene for scene upon my life of if I allow this to happen like this, this is what awaits you. And I want you to see the outcome and even the attacks that the enemy will comprise if I allow it to play out like that. So I need you to know that, yes, I'm going to do this for you as my daughter, but I'm going to do it at a different time and I'm going to do it in a different way. And so what that means is that I must continue to do what I have been doing to reach this point where I could hear at that magnitude, living holy to the best of my ability as one of them, staying prayed up, staying in the word of God, knowing that everything that the Lord is instructing Rhea to do, she is doing it because a part of hearing from God, it's tied into living a life that's pleasing to God. And so I want to encourage all of you today is that if things have not opened up, things have not shifted, no, you are not to give up. I want to challenge you to get out of carnality. I want to challenge you to get out of your own reasoning, out of your own human intellect. And I want you to go to the father and ask him, why is not the door opening? Is there anything that you are trying to communicate to me that I am not open to receiving, or I just cannot discern it. And I am telling you, the father is going to speak because he desires for his people to understand what his will is, because you cannot move forward in life when you do not understand what the will of the father is, whether that's in your career, whether that's at school, whether it's in your marriage, whether it's where you, um, are, are shifting from one region to the next. No, God wants us to understand his will. But in this situation, there is a lesson to be learned. And that is if you will honestly petition him and ask him with a sincere heart, 
Why is my breakthrough not coming? Why is that job not happening? Why is this person, it's not turning? I want you to be prepared to receive the answer. And when you get the answer, I'm going to tell, I'm gonna tell you this, you may not like it. I don't want to hear that. I want the breakthrough now. But I feel absolutely relieved to know that my father loved me enough to say, no, daughter, I'm not delivering that like that right now because it will hurt you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God, that you love me enough to not deliver something that I've been petitioning, what you even said you would do because my timing is off. So I love you guys in the Lord Jesus Christ. Continue to stay alert. Are you paying attention to the weather? You have seen nothing yet. This is why God is trying to make all of us alert. And yes, what I sense in the realm of the spirit is that there are many geographical locations coming for people where God is going to supernaturally provide. He's going to open up doors so that people can get out of harm's way um, as to what is coming. But you haven't seen anything yet. And I'm not saying that because I'm the doom and gloom prophetess, but I am the prophetess that I will tell you the truth to the best of my ability. Why? so that you can prepare, so that you can preserve the things that God has you working on, so that you and your families will be saved and you and your families will have the things that you need. So I love you guys in Jesus. Take all prophecy before the Lord. Try it in logos and ask the Holy Spirit, is this word um, for me? Does it apply to my life? And then you take it from there, okay? I love you in Jesus. Bye-bye.